Yeah. This is, and so the whole purpose is, uh, of us bringing on J. Scott Garibay, um, it's not, this is not a problem with Wizards of the Coast. This is not a problem with, you know, the game design, the game mechanics, or anything. This is a problem with the people who pay for these products because these people right. are the ones that are buying everything that Wizards of the Coast puts out. They keep dumping money into this. Irrespective of quality. Right. And so the the quality of the game is being determined by these these people. And this is why these the cash OSR... Cows, these whales, these consumers. Right. Yeah. This is why the OSR exists is because people got tired of this. And we're not even, for the record, we're not even like OSR guys. Like there's some interesting stuff no. in the OSR, but like we're... I, <clears throat> I don't play OSR. Uh, I'm intrigued by some of the, the, the games I've, I've read about recently, but... Um, yeah, same. This is this is why the alternatives exist. It's because people are tired of these shit products and these shit games that are being mass consumed and mass produced by people like Scott Garibay. Like in these in his opinions on D and D being like this spiritual movement, like th th those, I guess, are a little unique to him. <laughs> <They're>... <laughs> <laughs> right, an ideology, of, uh, a religion of one. Right, it's a religion of yeah. one, but. Hopefully, um, these are now. the these are the the kinds of people that are out there playing fifth edition right now, and it's just it's shameful. You can get so much more out of your game, and if you are stuck yeah. in some table with people like this, I'm going to tell you the hard truth right now. Get out. Get out. But the the thing is, not being able to play the game, that is a shitty feeling. It is not as bad of a feeling as being in a bad <laughs> game though no gaming yeah. is better than bad gaming and bad gaming right. yes you don't you do not want to be the person who sees uh the D, &D movie with scott garibay because he's holding it over your head right <laughs> <laughs> the, the only the only the only way for you to get that gaming back and not apologize you, you've got you've got the 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 the, the, the blackmail the bribe the 30 pieces of silver call it what you will right uh, hanging hanging over your head, and you've got to endure this <laughs> this however long the D and D movie is going to be this two hour uh, slog through the schlock. Yeah, uh, I can't wait yeah. to see that movie though. By the way, I can't wait. This is one thing because where I'm going to give Wizards of, Wizards of the Coast some money because it is gonna be bad, bad, and yeah. it's it, the thing is the reviews have come in have kind of said that it's uh, you know like a Guardians of the Galaxy, like fun romp through fantasy stuff, whatever. I don't whatever. care. I'm evaluating this as someone who has loved the role-playing hobby, and I can already tell yes. that it's going to be garbage. <clears throat> it's going yes. to be garbage. When I, when I got into mm -hmm. fantasy role-playing, yeah. it was because of things, you know, like the kinds of stories that I found attractive were like Conan... Lord of the Rings, like various types of, of fantasy that have been produced that have good storytelling in them and interesting characters and, and all of this stuff. And like, if, you, if I was a gamer today coming up, the kinds of inspirations that I'd be basing my entire gaming experience on would be like Game of Thrones uh -huh. and like the, like Rome, like the things that like HBO produces, these like really interesting like high quality shows that have a lot more going on than simply, uh, you know, seeing a displacer beast in a movie or, right. oh my goodness, yeah. a, a mimic. Let me wow. see the gelatinous cube. I can't wait gelatinous to see cube. it. I remember that from this. Oh, from that did you one see what he did? That, that I know what feet that is. I can tell you what page number, what did. paragraph oh it is. Yeah, like, he did. He did cleave. He must be. He must. <laughs> let me. Let me do. Uh, he must be a third level fighter. His hit points are probably. But, uh, but he actually might be multi-classing. <laughs> like, yeah. like that you, holy you fuck. know these vid those videos are coming. Oh, I, and I We're can't We're going to wait. analyze all the characters I, and figure out exactly what level and what their stats right. are. I, and I cannot wait to see those videos so we can shit all over them. All over. Yeah, because yeah. fuck and you rightly people so. for ruining yeah. our goddamn hobby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. And, and like you said, no gaming is better than good gaming uh, and and if you're it's it's better better than bad you, gaming no gaming is better than bad gaming yeah that, what yeah. Did i say better you said that good, good gaming, gaming. Yeah. yeah that's wrong <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah um but this ridiculous notion uh 
that you have to do some work, that you have to maintain some kind of either political correctness or right. some kind of awareness to uh, a real world controversy right. or um, issue to any sort of real <coughs> real world issue is, is absolutely wrong. It's absolutely reprehensible. It's absolutely, it's an evil mentality. You know, oh, yeah. Even getting, set, setting aside D&D &D and tabletop gaming as as for 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 the moment it's a it's a direct attack it's antithetical to creativity yes it's directly antithetical to people actually engaging as friends or even as people cooperating together in any capacity yeah it's 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 a it's an abhorrent mindset to have and these are the same people by the way that will say things like when when we talk about wanting a more immersive style or having a more interesting game with a better story these are the same people that will tell you games aren't it shouldn't be work yeah well uh, what you just heard it from the man himself yeah i mean it's like this get they they're either not supposed to be work and it's just yeah. supposed to be fun yeah. but simultaneously this is a yeah. engine of social change that if you're not participating in, then, you know, like, you're just standing on the sidelines of history. It's yeah, both of those things. Best, they exist in yeah. some crazy superposition where both are true simultaneously. And if you, and if you like an interesting right. game and telling good stories and having fun at the same time, then you're just, you're doing it wrong, man. Yeah. It's double think in its finest, yeah. uh, purest form. And if you are not engaging with the hobby in the prescribed and specific way that the company determines that is most appropriate, then you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. You're, you're uh, you know, persona non grata if you are just getting together with your friends even if you're even if you're not role playing at all which you know we've we've talked about that but if you're just getting together with friends for a social activity that's wrong on one yeah. token and on the other <clears throat> on the other token if you are super engaged as we are and interested um and passionate about immersive role playing focused character focused um stories that you create you and the people you you game with create together that is also wrong on the other side of the table yeah absolutely which is craziness i don't and, think i could have said that better a a mindset a voice out there that needs to be pushed back against to to put it mildly yeah exactly uh, 